Hello, welcome to my course, the study of economics. I made a special course for beginners to understand the basic concept of economics. First, I will introduce myself. My name is Preeti Meshram. I am from India. Talking about my educational background, I have completed PG in economics as well as in political science. I got uh, three gold medals in the subject and uh, I was first stopper. I got uh, Vidarbha prestigious award and state level award for active youth. I had participated uh, in the research festival on university level on the topic of organic farming and its benefits to economy. Recently, my research paper published in our heritage journal on the topic of e-commerce versus traditional business. Also, I have some teaching experience of specific courses uh, like industrial economics, managerial economics, economics for law, PG economics courses, some BA economics courses and uh, business economics. The study of economics. What we will learn in this lecture? Importance of economy, concept, focus points of definition, sectors of economy, branches of economics, central problem, World Economy 2020, Changing Economic Outlook. After learning this, we will come to know how economy works, production factors rule to run the economy, how it is interconnected, how economy changes its look with changing scenario. We will see the preface first. Economics has two main branches, microeconomics and macroeconomics. Here, macroeconomics is the concept is broader than the concept of microeconomics. You can read here, microeconomics is a study of individual thing. What is the study of individual thing? Study of individual customer, study of individual producer, study of individual firm, study of individual industry, the production strategy or production decision taken by the individually is included in the concept of microeconomics and macroeconomics is study of aggregates what is the study of aggregates it means the overall economical study it means for example national income is there then economics development concept is there then growth concept study of employment and unemployment then monetary policy fiscal policy those are the decision taken by governments in the nation is overall concepts are included in the concept of macroeconomics importance of economics why economics is important study of economics is important for every sector every individual and professionals public sector as well as private sector because every sector and things are interdependent to each other any type of change can affect to other sector for short or long time but those things which have economical value are being calculated here. Things which have non-economical value cannot consider in the economics concept like social service work done by social worker or work done by mother at her home because mother doesn't get any payment for her work. Now we will see the concept of economics. We will see how this word is derived from the Greek word economos. The origin of word comes from Greek word economos. Here, eco it means home and nomos means accounts. Home accounts. Focus on the sentence here. Economics is the social science which is directly related to all things which have economical value. Those things should be rare and important for economy. Now, see, economics is the social science. Why it is called the social science? Because it studies the social economical behavior. Hence, it is called the social science, which is directly related to all things which have economical value. It means non-economical value are not calculated here. Only there is value of economical things or goods. Okay, And those things should be rare and it must be important for running economy. Then, Adam Smith is the father of economics who defined it that economics is the science of money in his book An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations which is published in the year in 1776. Okay, Now focus here in the bracket you can read 
uh, he is called the father of economics why he is called the father of economics because his definition is the best of all definitions okay then various economists presented their views on this concept and it became more complex definition but they all made it easy to define the concept in great manners now in this slide we will see the focused points of the definition here we will compare the three definitions of famous economists first adam smith adam smith focused on only wealth hence its uh, definition is called the wealth definition then marshall welfare definition and lord robbins scarcity definition the concept of economics is vast by nature but easy to understand it is simply defined by various economists by focusing some points if we see the adam smith then he focused only on money in 1776 his wealth definition was famous then came marshall in 1890 his uh, principles of economics he focused only welfare or miss it means study of men and wealth then the lord robbins came and he focused the scarcity definition in his book an essay on the nature and the significance of economic science in 1932 he says the economics is the science of making choices now we will see the example of choice and scarce resource to understand the scarcity definition we will see one example here here you can see there is one consumer he has 100 dollar and it has a scarce resources with alternative uses he has some purchasing options number of items 3 food wine and book and all have fixed price means food price 100 dollar wine price 100 dollar book price 100 now see what happens he is a consumer he has his own demand and he want to purchase all these items means food wine and book but he can't because he has very limited and scarce resources which is 100 dollar and it has alternative uses it means what is alternative uses either he can purchase food for the price 100 dollars then also he can use it or spend this 100 dollar on wine or he can spend it on book but he cannot spend 100 dollar on three items okay means one time he can spend only for one item now what he will do he will think first what is important at the present then what is most important for him okay if he thinks that food is important and uh, really it is the most important thing for him then he will give the full preference to purchase the food okay so it was the simple and easy example now we will see the sectors of economy economy can be understood by observing various economical activities in business sectors why the study of sectors of economy is important then we will see here one by one first you can see here is primary sector secondary sector third sector and fourth sector primary sector is included for example agriculture and allied sector is there then secondary sector industrial sector third sector is service sector of the economy and fourth sector is export and import sector as it is called the economy's most important sector because it uh, makes the economy free okay then why these all sectors are important for the growth and development of the concept why sectors are important to measure made the national income and personal income why this is important to study of take out the gdp and gnp of uh, any country to measure the employment rate to measuring the hdi and pql rate okay we will just overlook overall the concept and points here okay first we will take a simple example for example there is a primary sector which is agriculture sector agriculture sector needs some technological help which uh, secondary which is industrial sector will provide all technical help to primary sector and primary sector will provide the raw materials to industrial sector 
then industrial sector will uh, do the process of that product and it will make the final product to sell into the market then there is a third sector which is called the service sector the service sector we provide the services to not only secondary uh, sector but also primary sector as well as fourth sector means third sector's role is also important okay then fourth sector it's a export and import sector it is called the foreign sector then you can see there is a interconnectivity and interdependence in overall sector if nationals in, if nation wants to measure the national income and personal income then he will just study of the all economical sector then concept of gdp it means gross domestic product and gnp gross national product gnp concept is a little bit vast than the concept of gdp gross domestic product how will we measure of the gdp of any nation first we had to see the production rate or productivity of all sectors of the economy then we will get gdp okay then industrial growth rate then economic growth and development concept whether economy is developing situation under developed situation okay so it is all the concepts are uh, measuring stage and it is very important to measure economic growth and development in this slide okay interconnectivity and interdependence of sectors of economy we will see how we observed and what type of things we observed in that ppt one thing we observed that economy remains in moving process here we had to focus the moving process it means economy cannot stop all sectors are interconnected and interdependent to each other live business activities are important for running economy it means open economy concept of mv and pq mv means velocity of money p for price q quantity concept of market demand and market supply qd qs then price and the value concept quality and scarcity concept importance of the basic factors of production what are the basic factors of production labor land capital entrepreneur and new technology and most important is consumer class and producer class then concept of competition perfect imperfect monopoly monopolistic and oligo oligopoly all are important to study of economics main branches of economics already we have seen there are two main branches of economics microeconomics and macroeconomics microeconomics is a study of individual economical behavior of one consumer or a single producer and macroeconomics is the study of aggregates study of aggregates it means the study of overall market economical behavior national and international level economical activities for example gdp national income etc we will see the example of microeconomics for example there is a one consumer and he has a very limited amount of resources of money then he will decide how to purchase how to spend uh, his all money on what type of goods or services another example if there is a single producer and uh, he has very limited uh, resources for uh, investment or uh, he has very limited sources uh, of uh, raw material or infrastructure or whatever okay then he uh, it is his own economical problem that uh, uh, what to produce for whom to produce means whatever decision has been taken by him it will be his own decision okay so it is the microeconomics other branches of economics we have to study here positive and normative economics in the positive economics we have to study what is or what will be and in normative economics we have to study should or ought now we will take one example in positive economics says country's gdp growth rate is 9% but normative economics will say country's gdp growth rate is not sufficient for to achieve the target and it should be above 10% so it is the main difference between the positive economics and normative economics now we will just overlook on main types of economic system here you can see capitalist economy socialist economy and mixed economy in the capitalist economy there is a private ownership 
it means whatever the decision in the economy it will take the private ownership or big capitalized will hold the responsibility socialist economy there is a public ownership and mixed economy both public and private ownership is there central problem of an economy in this problem we have to see three questions first what to produce second how to produce and third for whom to produce first question what to produce the question is related to product kinds of goods and services or product has been observed here as we know there are two types of goods luxurious goods and services and common goods and services now economy will take decision whether to produce luxurious goods or common goods all are depend on the demand of the product second question is how to produce this question is related to production strategy there are two types of strategies traditional strategy and modern strategy now economy will take decision whether to use labor intensive technique or capital intensive technique it's depend on the available resources in the economy and budget of the producers economy's third question is for whom to produce the question is related to consumer there are three types first rich class middle class and poor class obviously rich class will demand for the costly and uh, quality full goods and services middle class will demand for normal goods and poor class will demand very cheap goods because very less resources or less purchasing power now economy has great problem to decide that for whom to produce means production related to rich uh, demand rich class demand then middle class demand or poor class demand because all this class or consumer will search the maximum quality in short or less resources here we have to see changing economic outlook of world economy in the year 2020 in this lecture after observation of all things about the economy we have to see there is a innovation adding concept in entrepreneurship changing strategies it means he is adopting new technology new modern innovation in his strategy second smart business outlook it means changing views and maximum business owner they are changing their views and business became offline to online third change in economic activities of every sector it is related to production decision for example after market observation we can find there is increasing demand for mask sanitizer hand wash soap hygienic products herbal goods organic farming things non chemical goods immunity booster products and more things related to healthy life now our final conclusion is to understand the economy there is need to study economical activities in the sectors of economy demand and supply created by consumer class and producer class market equilibrium with price and value concept and main changes in business now after having this lecture you can see economics is vast to study easy to understand interesting for learning and enjoyable after grasping the concept Thank you and enjoy the learning.